Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are testing a new agentic vibe coding tool. From my experience, most of these AI coding tools are fun for, you know, for quick demos. You can spin up a prototype fast, right? But the moment you try to build something production ready, things start breaking. And for beginners especially, deployment is usually the hardest part. You know, getting your app live is a real headache. So that's where this tool called Emergent feels different. It's built for production from day one, you know, with one click deployment. And unlike tools like Cursor, which stop every few steps and require human intervention, Emergent is built for long horizon tasks. You can give it a big prompt and it keeps building, testing and fixing iteratively because it's a multi-agent platform. So there are different agents under the hood that jump in at different stages of execution. For example, a testing agent that takes screenshots of your app, tests it visually and verifies everything works as expected. So I think with Emergent, you get this perfect balance. Like Lovable, it's built primarily for non-developers, but in terms of capabilities, you can build full stack apps just as complex as with Cursor. But let's actually give it a test and see how it works in practice. I'll show you how to go from idea to fully working fitness tracker and then to deploy the app all in one session. Before we start, let me quickly show you some examples of what the community built with Emergent. Look at Aura Robotics. Looks like a professional website with smooth animations. Uh, you know, this spline page with 3D animations would probably take weeks to code manually. Premium audio UI with this sleek interface that also looks really great, like a high-end music streaming platform, right? They look like paid products. And also for the context on Emergent, they hit over 1 million users and $10 million in annual recurring revenue in just two months. So that's a real product market fit. All right, here's the dashboard. You just type your prompt here to create any app or website, um, but check this out. See that attachment button? You can upload design files or screenshots and say, build something like this. You know, it's super handy for inspiration or straightforward replication. GitHub integration is right here too. Um, here are your agent options. So E1 for stable and thorough builds, E1.1 for fast and flexible, and mobile specifically for mobile apps. If you click on Ultra, that's pro mode with custom AI agents, so you can create your own and each with specialized capabilities and over 1 million context window. And here's the universal LM access, so you can choose from different AI models without managing separate subscriptions. All right, let's build a fitness tracker together. Here's my strategy. Instead of one big prompt, we are building iteratively. Think like a product manager. Each prompt adds a layer of functionality. So this approach gets you more predictable and reliable results every time. Let's start with the foundation. The first prompt will be Create a fitness tracker mobile app with a clean, modern interface. Include a dashboard showing today's stats for calories burned, steps taken, and distance walks. Add input forms where users can log their daily food intake, food name, calories, and physical activities, activity type, duration. Use a card-based layout with vibrant colors and make it mobile responsive. Store all data in memory for this session. Perfect. Now Emergent is setting up the environment, initializing the cloud environment, provisioning resources, configuring everything, and starting the agent. This usually takes about one, two minutes to get everything ready. All right, nice. The agent is asking clarifying questions to build exactly what we need. So let me answer this quickly. For calorie calculation, I'll go with auto calculation based on activity and user weight, steps tracking, um, device sensor integration, user profile, yes, basic info for calculations, and additional features, weekly summaries for now. Now our agent starts working with all the details it needs. It's writing Python code to verify everything works, testing forms, checking calculations. This is what production-ready system means, not just code that looks good, but code that actually works, right? Here's our result. The agent is giving me a complete summary of what it built, a dashboard with today's stats, food logging system, activity tracker with auto calculations and weekly summary feature. Let's test this out. Look at this. We've got steps, distance, 
calories burned and consumed right on the dashboard. The add food section lets me input food names and calories and it automatically updates my consumed calories. The add activity section has different activity types like walking, running. Um, I just add the minutes and it auto calculates calories burned. Really nice. Let me check the weekly summary. Okay, uh, so we got an error here. Let me just screenshot this and ask Emergent to fix it. Watch this. I'm sending the screenshot to the agent and asking it to solve the error. It identifies the issue and starts fixing it automatically. No debugging needed from, from my end, right? Perfect. Error fixed. Now the weekly summary is working well, showing all my calories and steps for the week. Average steps, average calories burned, plus an activity summary telling me how active I've been. This is already pretty impressive for just one prompt, but we can stop here. For the production ready app, we need user accounts, right? With sign up and sign in, interactive charts probably for better reacts, and something like a BMI calculator so users know what to improve. So the second prompt is to add the real app features. Let's say add user authentication with JWT tokens, which is JSON web tokens, and a toggle between login and sign up models. Also implement interactive charts to visualize fitness progress over time. Include a weekly calories chart showing intake versus burned calories and a daily steps trend chart for the past seven days. Add a BMI calculator section where users can input height and weight to get their BMI status. Make sure user data persists per account. Add a logout option in the header and ensure charts update when new entries are added. This is where it gets interesting. We are adding authentication and data visualization in one go, right? Watch how Emergent handles the complexity. So the agent is asking detailed questions to get this right. Let me answer these key ones. Um, authentication system, custom JWT for now. Chart library, React native chart gate for now. Chart requirements, use all of the above, meaning line charts, bar charts, combined charts, um, and user data migration, assign existing data to the user who signs up. You can, of course, use ChatGPT to navigate questions like these because I imagine JWT or React native chart kit might be a bit confusing, but ChatGPT can help you with that. Now, our agent gets all the details and starts working again. All right, let me test it out. I'll quickly sign up myself. And great, takes me straight to the dashboard with an additional feature section. Let's try the BM BMI calculator. All right. We've got an error again, uh, but we already know how to deal with it, right? Just screenshot <laughs> and send it back to Emergent. Okay, so it clearly identifies the error and starts resolving it immediately. Now it's fixed. The BMI calculator is running perfectly. I can input height and weight, and it calculates everything, telling me whether I'm underweight or normal weight or overweight or obese. And look at this chart section. We've got amazing interactive charts, weekly calories showing consumed versus burned, daily steps trend, steps versus calories burned chart, plus weekly insights. These are really nice visualizations. Okay, this is already generating pretty impressive output, but we still need some key improvements for a complete fitness app. For example, we need daily targets for steps and calories with progress bars to show achievement levels, right? Plus some gamification with achievements, maybe something like um, Step Master and Calorie Crusher, you know, just to make it more fun. And of course, notification options to keep users engaged. So my next prompt is implement a goal setting feature where users can set daily targets for steps calories to burn and calorie intake limit. Add a progress ring or progress bar for each goal showing completion percentage. Include achievement badges that unlock when users hit their targets, like step master or calorie crusher. Add notifications or celebratory messages when goals are achieved and display a weekly goal summary. Gamification is everything in fitness apps. We know this from Whoop, right? Users just need that dopamine when they hit their goals. So our agent starts working on those features that keep users coming back, kind of retention features. Now look at these animated progress rings real-time completion tracking, achievement celebrations, weekly summaries. This is becoming a more and more professional looking app. It's generated proper progress bars with a clean interface and achievement unlock system for motivation. We've got a new goal management section with the set goals option and 
achievements display. In set goals, I can configure daily steps, daily calories, and calorie intake limits. The achievement system shows 5,000 steps as a milestone and calorie burn goal of the day. So all of this creates real motivation to keep going. Now the result is pretty good, but let's do one more iteration. Let's add a dedicated workout section with exercise library and session tracking capabilities. So the next prompt will be add a comprehensive workout section with a library of common exercises, running, cycling, weightlifting, yoga, etc., showing estimated calories burned per minute. Let users start workout sessions with a timer, track multiple exercises in one session and automatically calculate total calories burned. Include a workout history showing past sessions with date, duration and calories burned. Time for our agent to build a full workout management system. So it says the agent is approaching its context limit to keep the conversation going and avoid losing progress. We need to summarize the session and save our work. Basically, this means saving the key information about the project then creating a fresh session so we can pick up right where we left off without starting over. All right, let me quickly save this to GitHub by creating a new repository named Fitness V3 and push it. Okay, got an error, which sometimes just happens. So I'm not changing anything, just trying again. And this time it's successful. Now I'll fork it, which simply means copying the code I just saved in GitHub and starting a new session using that existing code. The agent is creating a proper project requirements document so that in the next window, future agents have complete control and understanding of our work. This documentation looks comprehensive. I'll just approve it and continue. The agent asks some basic questions for clarity, then starts working on the workout system according to our last prompt, right? Excellent. The agent gave me a proper summary of what was built. Let me just test it out. So now, We've got a whole workout center section. The start workout feature lets me set timers and begin sessions with various exercise options across categories like cardio and different sports. There is an exercise library where I can choose according to my workout type, plus workout history, tracking all past sessions, and an activity stats section for comprehensive tracking. Now we have a comprehensive fitness app with authentication, visualization, gamification, and complete workout management. And lastly, look how easy it is. When I hit publish, it automatically deploys the app and generates a link to access it. I just paste it in my browser to open it, and that's it. You know, real users can sign up and start tracking their fitness activity. It took me less than an hour to put together an app like this. And in this tutorial, we've been building a mobile app, but if it was a web app, deploying it is really easy. You just publish it the same way, then go to the custom domain section in your deployment, click link domain, and Emergent will give you the DNS records. You paste those into your domain provider, and just like that, your web app will be live on the internet with your own custom domain. All right, guys, we just built a production-ready fitness app by having a conversation. This isn't future tech. This is available right now. It's less about traditional coding now and more about having a style and knowing which problems you can solve with software because today English has become the programming language. All right, the link to Emergent is in the video description if you want to give it a try. Let me know in the comments which kind of video you'd like to see next. Thank you very much for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. This will help me a lot. Really appreciate you watching and see you soon. Bye.